Hello everyone, let's start with another question. So it says, Carom board 4 feet into 4 feet square has the queen at the center. So as you can see on your board that we have taken a carom board of 4 feet into 4 feet square. And in between we have a queen at the center. Now it says, the queen hit by the striker moves to the front edge. Front edge means this part of the carom. Now moves toward point A and go rebounds and goes in the hole behind the striking line. So the hole is at point B. Now we need to find the magnitude of displacement of the queen. Now for, for that, in the first case it says from the center to the front edge. So we need to find from the center to the front edge. So before that, what we have taken is we have the length of the front edge edge as 4 feet. Now if I say the half length, the half point if I take half of 4 feet will be 2 feet and we don't know the value of this particular. This is my x and this will be my 2 minus x because the half of 4 feet is 2 and we need to take the sum of this as 2. So x plus 2 minus x will be 2. Now, in this case, we need to find OA. Now, it, as you can see, it says from the center to the front edge. That means center is O and front edge is at point A. So, we need to find the distance or the displacement from center to the front edge. So, now in this case, we need to find X first of all. So, finding X, we need to take the value of OA. So, as we know that we have drawn a triangle of OMA. So, OMA in this case you can see is this is 2. If I say this is 2, then opposite of that will be 2 as well. That is AM is 2 in this case. So, we need to find, we need to find the value for OA and that will be under root O is a hypotenuse and we have perpendicular as 2, 2 square. Then opposite of it, OM. OM is x. So 2 square plus x square. So this will be 4 plus x square. Now we need to find the value for x. Now in this case, we need to apply trigonometry rules to find out the value. So suppose this is my theta here. OAM is theta here. So in triangle, OAM we have tan theta, tan theta equals OM over AM. Now the value of OM is X and the value of AM is 2. So X over 2, tan theta equals X over 2. Now we need to similarly apply for ABN. So we can see we have ABN triangle and it is a right triangle. So therefore we can apply the rule of this is theta as well. Why theta? Because in this case we are taking angle of reflection equal angle of incidence. This particular portion behaves as if that we are striking the queen from this point from center and it strikes at the front edge and rebounds again to be at point B. So therefore we are making a normal that is a n and dividing it into two equal parts that is theta and theta. So now in this case Again, we will be finding the value of theta, tan theta, in bigger triangle that is A and B. So, A and B again makes tan theta. Tan theta in this equals B and that is perpendicular over base. So, it is A and equals 2 minus x over 4. Now we have two values for tan theta. So this is very easy to be comparable because we have two same values on the left hand side. So comparing 1 and 2, we get x over 2 equal 2 minus x over 4 cutting down 2 with 4. So we get 2. Then using cross multiplication we get 2x. 
So we get 2 minus x on the right hand side. So rearranging the values we get 2x plus x equal to. So on the left hand side we have 3x which equals 2. So x equal to over 3. So this is the value for x. Now putting the value of x into equation a and finding the value of OA. So OA equals under root 4 plus x square. So x is 2 over 3 square. Now we get the value 4 plus 4 over 9. Using LCM we get 36 on this part. 36 plus 4 over 9. So this is 40 over 9. So 9 can be solved as 3 square. And 40 can be written as 4 into 10. So 4 is 2 square. And we can write 4 as 2 square. Cutting down square with square. So we get 2 over 3 equals under root 10. So this is for the first part we have from the center to the front edge. Now for the second one we need to find from the front edge to the hole. That means we need to find AB. So the second part is we need to find AB. So let's find out what AB will be. So as you can see AB can be written as is equal to BN square. BN square is the base. Base square plus perpendicular square. That is AN square. AN is known to us that is 4 feet and we don't know the value for BN. BN is nothing but opposite of AD. So we can write it as 2 minus X. So finding the value of AB. AB. This is second part. AB equals under root BN square plus AN square equals bn square is 2 minus x square plus 4 square. Now 2 minus x. 2 minus x means x value is 2 over 3. So when we solve 2 minus 2 by 3, we get 6 minus 2 that is 4, 4 over 3. So we have 2 minus x as 4 over 3 square plus 4 square. So we get 16 over 9 plus 16. So when we solve this we get under root 160 over 9. So when we solve this we get 4 under root 10 over 3. So this is for the second one. Now we need to find the third part of it and third part of it says from the center to the hole. Now we need to find the center from the center to the hole. So as we need to find from the center to the hole, we need to find the distance of OB. So let's draw OB here. So we need to find OB. Again we can apply easily apply the Pythagoras theorem to it. And we will get OB equals under root CB square plus OC square. And OC is 2, CB is 2 as well. So we need to find this. So I will find it here. The third part. Third part is OB square equals under root CB CB square plus OC square. So CB square plus OC square as we can see that both have value 2. So 2 square plus 2 square 2 square plus 2 square equal 4 plus 4 that is under root 8. So we have the value for OB square OB as under root 8. So that's all for this question. Question number Question number 8.